Hey Virgos, welcome or welcome back to the channel. Hope all is well. So today I'm going to be doing a reading for you guys. Sun, moon, Venus, rising, north, node. Come on in, take what resonates, leave the rest. If there's anything that you'd like to know in regards to how to get a reading, please be sure to email me. And as always, thank you all for being here and supporting me. If you guys are interested also in collective messages, prophetic reads, the four element signs, then be sure to head on over to my other channel. Sometimes when I do readings, you might see extra messages in the collective message as well as the earth signs. All right. I've already done a reading on the earth signs, so you might want to head over to the other channel to get the rest of the messages that you need to receive. Okay, so we have grief. Somebody could be going through a loss here. This could be a loss of a person, an opportunity, um, feeling hopeless, not really knowing what to do. Somebody's accepting whatever this grief is, okay? There's some sort of doubt that you could be focusing on or that you have about yourself or another person. This could be linked to trust, whether you're trusting yourself or not. We have honesty. So I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can't expect it from myself. So there is an honesty moment that you're coming to about how you feel when you do something for somebody or the services that you might have received from someone. Somebody could be uh, doing a, I don't know why I heard a poll. There's some sort of like review. This could be about your business or you being transparent about your experience with a certain uh, business owner or restaurant or whatever this is here. Okay. Somebody here could have been shortchanged or isn't earning enough. You could be doing better, but it's not bad. Okay. I hear that you're in love with the friendship that you have with the people that are in your circle at this time. And others would be envious or you're saying that you would be envy, envious of the type of friends that you have if it were you from the outside looking in. That's what I'm getting here. Let's see. Messages for the collectives, please. What is it that we need to know? Okay, so we have sadness. So there's grief and sadness in the same first position. I feel like spirit is cautioning you to stop and trust your guides that it is okay to surrender because you could be trying to control everything. But once you surrender, you'll find growth and a change in your energy. Okay, that's what I'm getting here. Somebody's name could start with the letter C. I'm seeing caution again. So honesty is bringing some sort of caution in regards to you um, and a person that you might not love as yet or have said those words to. Okay. You might be holding back when it comes to love. Okay. Somebody may not be wanting a relationship right now yeah you're not making any movements to this and somebody wants to know why okay i feel like there's some sort of lack of comfort or conflict that somebody could be going through here you might need to be honest about where your mind's at with everything we do have frustration service okay so you can have a frustrated customer or you could be the frustrated uh, person in a situation, I feel like you may not be very forthcoming about this. What's this illumination? Yeah. 
This could be about a partnership between two people that are coming into business with one another. Okay. You're trying to decipher if this is something that you want to do. This could be with the friend that I was talking about earlier that you may grow to love. But there's some sort of discomfort in knowing that the two of you should go into business together. Take it as it resonates here. Okay. Now let's go ahead and see why this frustration is here. Why are you frustrated? What is this frustration? We have the moon. So the moon card is showing up and the king of swords with the ten of pentacles and the ace of cups is coming out here. The moon card is kind of like in the cross position. So Virgos, as I was saying before, we have the moon and it's to the side. Somebody could not be forthcoming about something that they're thinking. Somebody's holding back their level of emotions or something that they might have dreamt or envisioned. Okay, the king of swords. Somebody here may have the intention to um, become a sole proprietor or um, wants a lot of wealth from this, but it doesn't seem shared. Okay, this could break a friendship or a working relationship with another person. Somebody knows that something isn't going to work out. Or what I'm also getting is one person one person is putting more money into a business than the other. It's like there's not enough effort financially. So it looks like there's going to be a sole proprietor type of um, energy that's coming through. Okay, somebody's making the quick decision to um, go ahead with being the sole proprietor and somebody else is going to be left in the cold. Now, whether that's you or the person external to you, I'm not sure. That's what I'm getting. Like I said, there was an idea between two friends that could become disastrous because another person isn't ready to become... Um, financially responsible to go through something and it's like whatever is done in the dark must come to light okay somebody's only thinking about themselves in a situation and isn't ready to be a owner of anything a co-owner to anything that's what i'm getting here this could be a pisces air sign earth sign or water sign okay that's what i'm picking up here now, since these were at the bottom, I'm going to clarify the moon card. Why is this person frustrated? Why is Virgo frustrated? Because everything seems to be left on your shoulders to carry. Somebody is, like I said, not financially responsible to take anything on. And, and it seems like it, it breaks your heart to know that you're going to have to carry this, this responsibility on your own and that you might have to turn away and break somebody's heart by not uh, bringing them on this journey. Okay. But I do know that whatever creativity or creative thought is linked to this business or whatever this is that you're doing, it's going to take off. Okay. Hard work does pay off is what I'm getting here. All right. Tell me more about this strength energy. Okay, so we have the seven of swords. Somebody is going to find out or there's going to be some sort of sneaky behavior about a person trying to um, trying to ask for, for a lot. Somebody wants to be codependent or is depending on a person to do something or be there for somebody. I'm also getting um, ace of swords. Somebody's trying to also figure out how they can attach themselves to a person or do something destructive or what goes against what they should be doing to get close to a person. 
okay, to find out what it is that they're doing or what's being applied to a situation. Yeah. Let's see. Tell me more. Message for Virgo. Message for Virgo. Message for Virgo. Okay, so we have the death card. There's something that's ending. So there is a loss of somebody through you not speaking to this person anymore. Yeah, there's the end of a relationship or a situation between you and this person because somebody became uh, a liability. Okay, so there could be a ending of a relationship because of this because you want to thrive. And if somebody is going to make you a liability or allow your business to go down because they can't make certain payments or they can't be financially responsible, then you need to uh, close out that 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 plan and do things solely on your own. Somebody could not hold themselves accountable to a promise that they're making. And that could lead to losing somebody that was once close to you. The number 28 could be significant here. Yeah. What's the energy for Virgo? Okay, so we have compromise. So there's going to be some sort of altercation verbally or something that comes up when it comes to money, okay? Somebody is going to need to give something back or um, whatever rules are in place or anything uh, legal on paper. It's like somebody could disagree with something here, all right? I do see that somebody just feels like a person wants to control everything and be the, the head honcho. I feel like whoever this person was that was trying to do some sort of uh, magic spell needs to focus on loving themselves, okay, instead of trying to take something that doesn't belong to them, but they're not able to execute that plan anyway, okay? Somebody thinks that they can just get things easily with the help of somebody else, but without doing the work, okay? Somebody may have a low self-esteem or doesn't really think highly of themselves, they allow other people to do things for them, but somebody's going to have to learn a hard lesson, okay, through applying themselves and trusting others. Let's see. What is the message here? Message for Virgo. Okay, so we do have, I love you. So there is somebody that you fell out of love for. You're no longer chasing this person, okay? At one point, you, you, you would have thought it is safe to love and you might be told to take action, but you had to pull away from somebody that you shared a past love with, okay? That you are trying to forget or keep at the back of your mind. Somebody wasn't trying to support you. Somebody was trying to use you, or at least that's how you feel. This could have been a divine feminine in reverse. Okay. Or this message was for a divine feminine. Take it how it resonates. Message for Virgo. What is it that we need to know at this time? So what I am picking up is that there's some sort of fast movement that's going to lead you to this celebration energy. I'm also getting that whatever lies or deceptive energies were lurking in the background, whatever betrayal that there was um, towards you or you doing towards this person will be exposed. Okay. I'm also getting here that somebody cannot wait to get to a place where they are able to show um, empowerment in 
working on themselves and earning their self-worth and things of that nature here. Okay. Yeah. Celebration. Somebody's going to be able to celebrate with some sort of good karma. Okay. There will be a um, party or some gifts that will be given. Somebody's birthday is coming up. Happy birthday when it comes, Virgos. I just want to say that. I'm going to try to say that in every one of my videos. Today is September 1st. All right. So let's see here. I do see a soulmate or a divine connection that's coming through around or a little bit before or after your birthday. This is for some of you or you will be spending time with somebody that you are dating here. Okay, if that's the case. For some of you, your divine connection is the person that you are to reconcile with. Okay, this could be a fire sign here. Or somebody that has fire in their chart. What is the energy? Somebody is desiring you or you're desiring them. Somebody is desiring a feminine energy. Okay, somebody could be returning from leaving this behind. I feel like somebody is leaving a toxic situation to purify their own energy and aura. Tell me more for Virgo. So we do have transformation. There are things that are changing in your life where you are allowed to turn to your right and see a new view or seeing things from a higher perspective. Okay. Tell me more about what's going on. So we do have caution. Proceed with caution when it comes to an apology that comes in for you. Okay. Because there is a phase that will soon end. Somebody could be trying to apologize at the last minute to be able to be a part of your life. Okay. Somebody wants to get close to you again. Message for Virgo. What is it that we need to know? We have occupation. Somebody needs a job or is trying to um, see if you have any work for them or whatever this is, or if they can work something out. This could be a, a karmic male. Okay. Message for Virgo. Somebody here could be 34 years old. But there's something about the number seven. Okay, we have imprisonment. This could be physical, spiritual, emotional. Somebody is imprisoned. Somebody is not able to see their child. Or somebody feels like a child is not safe around a particular person here. Okay, there was some sort of concern around the child for a, a male. Okay, this could be an older male. Or this could be a lawyer here. I'm going to get more information in a minute. Number 29 could be significant. Somebody is trying to penalize a person for something by not allowing them to have a relationship with their son or daughter. Okay. I feel like somebody wants to um, go to, somebody is trying not to get caught up with the law on something that they took. Okay. That may have belonged to a privileged lady. Okay, this could, this could have been a lover, a current lover, or somebody that's coming into your energy. This could be the plot or plan before it is even rolling in action. A person that is trying to appear as a lover to unexpectedly take something that belongs to you or you to them. The numbers 24, 15, 28, 23, and 12 could be significant, okay? This could have been um, masqueraded by a ex-lover, okay? Okay. 
Now let's go ahead and grab some messages from the tarot and then go into the oracles and then close out. I'm going to, yeah, let's see. Two of pentacles here. Somebody is going back and forth. Somebody has an, a decision to make that they're indecisive about, okay? It could be surrounding um, trying to fix whatever was broken in a dynamic, whether it be romantic or not. This could be with a family member, a friend, a lover, an ex-lover, a co-worker, or whomever this business partner was supposed to be here. Somebody was not only your business partner, but you built a friendship surrounding that here. Okay. But somebody is going back and forth on whether this is something that they want to even uh, come up against. Yeah. I'm seeing the 10 of cups. So you are separated from a family group or from somebody that you have a family with. I feel like you had to do that to separate yourself so that you can grow in your business. I feel like it's been um, challenging, but you're trying to take things one day at a time. Okay. Some of you could be dealing with an earth sign. At this time, there's a lot of earth uh, in this uh, tarot reading itself. We have the tower. So there's something that you're going to come into knowing or being aware of. And this could be... Um, like an overindulgence in thinking uh, or things that are being replayed in your mind and the decisions that you might have made or what you might have said in the past, okay? I feel like somebody is like really working on bringing in, using this guarded energy to make the right choice for whatever this is here. Can I get one more card for Virgo? Okay, so yeah, I feel like you're trying to heal something that could have been very painful for you uh, emotionally or physically. Yeah, because there was some sort of lie or something that was exposed or told to you about a situation. Yeah, you're trying to get over something. And now you're realizing that you truly love or care about somebody or somebody cares about you. OK, and just because you are harsh or you, you speak harshly out of love does not mean that you don't care about a person. It's something that a person said or did. But I think it's like uh, communication, like wise. Yeah. So you felt like somebody disregarded how you might have felt or how you took something or how something was implied here or vice versa. This is how this person felt when it came to you. What's the energy? What is it that we need to know? Okay, so spirit is telling you to let go. There's something that you need to let go of and ask for help from others if you need it here. Spirit is telling you not to stop, but you need to ask for help when you need it. And that's something that you could be uh, holding yourself back from. Okay. So Holy Spirit, give us some more messages for Virgo. What is it that we need to know? Okay, so we have Momento and we have Friend Zoned. Okay, at the bottom of the deck, we have Workplace Romance. That was actually in reverse. So somebody could be uh, putting an end to a relationship that could have happened between them and a person that they work with to friend zone a, uh, an individual. So there were lines that were blurred or crossed and now somebody is backpedaling and going back to the friend zone, okay? We have memento, so there's a gift from someone special, okay? But this is not a gift that implies romance. This is with somebody that is more of a friend, okay? I feel like you're going to meet your soulmate very soon. This is the second card that is confirming 
a soulmate connection. Okay. What do we have for Virgo? We have cracked cup. So there is a dissatisfaction with life. We're going to find out what that's about. You will be taken care of in difficult times. Pay attention to your work here. Okay. We also have obstacles to overcome. For those of you that are looking for the September 2023 read, I did do that. I will leave the link down in the description box below for you all. I did talk about a couple weeks ago when I did that reading that there the first week or the first two, I would say the first week or two will become very um, hard, but you will get over something and the energy is still coming out here. But the overall energy is bouquet and pin. All right. So there's a compliment from an admirer that you may meet in a work environment. Okay. You're going to be earning a new job. I do see here that there is a compliment from this person. All right. You could be branching off to step into a new experience, but it could be shortly lived. So be mindful of that here. I'm also getting a uh, cracked cup. So we're going to go and figure out why this cracked cup here is happening. What are, what is it that you're dissatisfied with in your life? Where is this dissatisfaction coming from? The high priest is not knowing what way to turn and how to deal with this breakup or having to disassociate with a family group. I think you just need to be true to yourself and honest about your journey and separating yourself from somebody. Okay. You could be frustrated, angry that there are delays and things are going in your favor, but take your time to go through this. It is a process. Tell me more about this three of wands. We have the two of pentacles. So there are going to be struggles that I'm seeing here. And it looks like you could be upset with a queen of swords, an air sign feminine. Okay. You could be upset because somebody here um, could be against you or not on your side. But just remember who it is that you serve and God will never leave you nor forsake you. You need to block yourself from the people that are causing you so much pain and strife and is not trying to make it easier for you. Okay. What are these obstacles to overcome? What are these obstacles to overcome for Virgo? The Empress. Knowing who you are and what you come with, not running away from your problems, but facing them, even if that means ending a situation. Okay. Somebody here could be trying to own the fact that they have always been there, the true emperor or empress and um, having faith in that. For some of you, this could be pregnancy as well. Okay, let's see if anything else is linked to this message for Virgo, for Virgo. Okay, so we do have a delay in something. There's some sort of a delay with a conversation or something that somebody is supposed to tell you. Somebody is sworn not to tell you about something that they might have said or what they might want to do. This is not like gossip or anything. Somebody could have given you a compliment or somebody's talking to their um, coworker, their family member, their friend about how they feel towards you. Let's see what this chatter is about. We do have thief and protector in reverse. Let's see here. 
What's this delay and flatterer? The number 36 as well as the number 14 is coming out here. What is this delay and flatterer? Okay, somebody's trying to have a opportunity or some money taken away from you. Okay, or you might have to reheal again. So um, somebody here doesn't feel like you have the same ambition as them or somebody lacks ambition. And um, the truth of the matter is somebody is trying to take something from you so that they don't feel impartial to whatever they're missing or that they lack. So somebody is trying to cause you some sort of loss of an opportunity and or money here. Yeah. I think that you're picking this up in, in your third eye energy because you can't sleep or you have like, I don't know why I'm hearing like in the pit of your stomach, you could have been interrupted out of your sleep uh, with something, whatever this is. Okay. What's this three of swords? Okay. So we have the queen of wands in reverse. And the five of pentacles with the pen, the page of pentacles in reverse. So somebody is going to um, be stubborn enough not to learn a lesson from whatever this was that they're trying to do or have attempted or have already done. Depending on it happening in the past, present, or in the near future. But at least you will be well prepared for those of you that it didn't happen to yet. Hopefully. Okay, so there is a earth sign, a feminine fire sign, a earth sign again, or a air sign. This feminine could be left out in the cold. And it looks like somebody was sent in your direction by a suitor, a masculine suitor, if you're a feminine, to um, come in to take something from you. Like somebody has an angle to take something from you, okay? This is somebody could, that could work based out of their emotions, okay? Let's see. Anyway. message for Virgo. Wow. Somebody's about to get bad karma. Whether this is you or the person external to you, somebody's going to get some bad karma. Just remember, the universe is watching and knows everything that's going on. We have a private relationship, a legal entry or search is going on for a private relationship that's, that's happening behind the scenes. And it looks like a friend or family is trying to bring in some sort of intervention for you or the person external to you to figure out what it is that you're hiding or what you are doing. Okay. Somebody wants to get a handle on what's going on in your life. Okay. Damn, somebody's going to have their their uh, tires slashed because they gave them some sort of common infection, or they found out that a person isn't able to perform because they're giving themselves to somebody else. I'm also seeing here that somebody's going to have their car repoed, or somebody could be carless at the time, or no job. Okay. Somebody here could be overly dr dramatic or likes to dramatize a lot, could be faking their own death and relocating or faking their death so that they have a head start to relocate, but it's not going to be a good idea. I'm also getting spiritual warfare that's going on here. Somebody is making terrorist threats to um, destroy a person's psyche. Okay, if you've been staying up a lot, 
This is somebody here that's trying to destroy your psyche. Okay, because you are ideal to a masculine or feminine. You have the potential to be somebody's wife or husband. Okay. What's the message? Yeah, we have a three-way call or three people are working together here. There's some sort of link. This is a triangulated link here. Tell me more about Virgo. What it is that we need to know. Okay, there's a lot that's going on. Damn. Messages for Virgo. So the overall message here is demon energy. Somebody has demonic energy. Okay, could be messy to try to get information on you here. But somebody's phone is turned off or somebody is to turn off their phone. We have graveyard magic. Somebody's doing magic on a king or queen status type person or somebody that is a baddie or a bad boy. Somebody's doing magic to this individual here. Okay. Somebody's mad that a person has cheated and is causing them so much uh, intimacy issues because of what they're doing with other people. Okay. Somebody here is a workaholic. Somebody could have been stabbed or hit from behind because I did get a sharp pain in the midsection of my... Um, my rib area in the middle of my back. We do have the number 999. So somebody's going to be learning um, about karma. Something is going to be giving a person enlightenment and wisdom about how they should move forward in the future. Okay. There was a plot or a scam that was supposed to take place to steal from you. Okay. We have drug dealer and or addict. Okay. Somebody here could be um, an addict here, whether that be drugs or alcohol, somebody wants out of a situation or there's some sort of paperwork that needs to be signed and finalized and, um, sent in. We have a karmic lover that's doing sex spells on their person. Whoever this person is, they could have a slim build. Somebody's battling demons. A part of this demon that's being battled is something about drugs and alcohol here. Somebody knows that a person is a keeper and they're sending in the ops, the ex best friend to look up information about you. Okay. And they're going to report to the person that they're working with, whoever this gossip girl is to get you fired. Okay. Because right now you go as somebody that has values, morals, and respect, but wants you to be fired or somebody's mad because you didn't employ them or you didn't work together with them to get a job or whatever this is. Somebody is very entitled. They feel like everything that they want, that you're supposed to work your ass off to make sure that they get it. Like, are you living for you or am I living for you here? What's the energy for Virgo? Okay, so we have conjuring legacy. Somebody needs to clear their energy or so that they can channel. Okay. Somebody's conversing about plant spirits that are spiritually um, tapped in. Get into the flow of something. Future love letter is in reverse. Okay. So somebody here could be unprepared for the future. All right. This is why this conjuring legacy is out here. Somebody needs to be able to tap in or to turn their third um, their third eye on to be activated so that they know what they're supposed to do and using those plant spirits to keep them tapped in here. Okay. Let's see here. Tell me more. What's going on? What do we need to know? What's the message? Okay. So we have a waiting results. So somebody here is not waiting for something to happen. They're going to go towards it, but there is a lack of opportunity that comes through. Okay. Somebody's throat chakra is blocked here. Okay. There's a lack of, um, there's a lack of, of communication that's going on. And it looks like you're trying to master not feeling sad and isolated anymore. So you're working on yourself so that you're able to open up more so that you're able to set yourself free from whatever's holding you back. Okay. 
The number seven, four, and five could be significant here. Let's see. Tell me more about what's going on for Virgo. Virgo messages. Okay, so they care, but they don't want you to know how much they do for whatever reason. Somebody doesn't like when all eyes are on them. Okay, we have reported to human resources due to someone's jealousy or vindictiveness. Like I said, somebody is mad that they didn't get the position that you have or something close to it. So they're trying to get you fired. OK, because they're unemployed, they are hiding their true selves. Maybe they don't trust you. They are holding grudges and plotting revenge and retribution. Yeah, we have sugar, baby. So pretty and young and the rent is paid for. So somebody is mad that they have the type of lifestyle where they need to be uh, doing something to get paid. OK, and it doesn't include a nine to five. Somebody feels like they have to spend time around the people that they don't like or that they barely know just to make um, some money here versus you working hard for everything that you got and they're mad at you. Okay. That's the risk you take. You could have given this person like, you know, a shot at trying to be a co- founder or um, whatever this is to a business, but they didn't have anything to support the business. So how can you put somebody in a position that, you know, just let themselves wither? They want to get the, the uh, benefits to, you know, building an empire, but they don't want to build with complying to certain things. We have Samaritan, child and addict as well as monk on the bottom of the deck. So somebody has a selfless devotion and single-minded dedication to their spiritual team. I do see here with the child wounded card that somebody is blaming all dysfunctional relationships on their childhood wounds, which doesn't allow them to do much movement. Okay, so this is somebody here that's lazy, doesn't wanna do the work to fix their life or to make a change because what, they want pity? Somebody here is refining their capacity to help those that they would prefer to ignore. So I feel like even if somebody here is trying to bully you or trying to get you to um, fight fire with fire, spirit is telling you to still help those that are in need, okay, so that they can recognize and confront their addictive behavior, okay, because you are the true warrior and this person is a prostitute. This person could even be a mother to a child here, okay? You need to teach that person how to nurture their own selves and build themselves to their highest self again, because somebody is not you and they want everything that you want without putting in the work. Okay. Yep. This is a mimicking energy of a father or a masculinated energy. All right. So Virgo, that's what I have here for your current messages. Hopefully it resonates. If it does, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Until next time, stay blessed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.